Alright, I'm EJ Boxing Live here. And I'm here with Boxing Beast and Rams, Chris Saban, UK yep. Boxing Blogger, and uh, Chris Caban. Hopefully, Beast is cool with this. Alright, so we're going to ask the question, yeah? Floyd Mayweather has been offered 100 million um, to fight Manny Pacquiao, less than that. I think 80. But anyway, he's going to get up to about 100 million anyway. And we're going to ask the question um, should he take it? And if he doesn't take it, what is he, a duck or whatever? So I'm just going to go around the panel briefly and we're just going to talk about it. Uma, I may ask you again, Uma, one again, yeah, because we just talked a second ago, yeah. So, Uma, so Floyd's been offered that money. Should he take it? Uma. Well, like I said to you, was, can you hear me? Yeah, go ahead, Uma. Like I said to you just a few minutes ago, um, me personally, like I said, me and you, Beats and Chris and UK, we're all good friends, but... If anybody else offers me $100 million to punch any of you in the face, I'm going to punch you in the face, and I expect you to punch me back because we're going to make some bread out of it. We'll party after. So I really can't I, I, I really can't say that you shouldn't take it. And I would say I would never call Florida Ducker, but what I would say is that if he doesn't take that money, he's a stubborn idiot because that's too much money to leave on the table. And, 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 that, and that's just my opinion. All right, Umar, you've been polite about it, but that's cool then. Um, Chris Caban, hope you're there, Chris. Yes, I'm here. All right, if Chris. he don't take, if he don't take the money, yes, of course he's done. So you he's think not he, gonna, he's not gonna get another payday like that against nobody? He should take, take the money. He should, he should take, he should take it. Yeah, yeah, he should take it. And there if should be no excuse. So Chris, if he doesn't take it, like you're saying he's a ducker. Yes, he's a ducker if he don't take it. Yeah, there you go. All right, that's see, it's short and simple, um, right, fans? People on YouTube listening. UK blogger. Lee. I guess he's not around. He's ducking as well. Boxing beats and rams. ESPN is where the source came from, yeah? Yeah, that's what apparently, yeah. Stephen A. Smith and um, what's the other guy? Skip. Uh, Skip, Skip Bayless. Okay. Well, um, it's interesting. It's interesting. I have a feeling the news is going to keep developing as weeks go on. Then it's going to be 60,000, it's going to be 100, then this. Until I see Al Heyman or someone from Floyd's team, someone from Manny's team, and, you know, they're reputable people, Manny and Floyd shaking hands saying they're going to fight, I'm not going to swing either way. But in theory, if, they was, if he was offered that money and that was tangible, he should take it. And um, if, Floyd, if Manny isn't on roids and he's offered that money, yeah, yeah, I suppose you'd have to say that he was looking for an out. I'm not going to call him a ducker, though. He was looking for an out, yeah. But um, I'm going to reserve my judgment totally. I know I know it's not the answer. People might want to hear until the news, you know, is a little more concrete. Because I know ESPN is a powerful, is a powerful, you know, it's a reliable, it's a reputable source. I know it is, I know it is. But shit can change regardless of who it's coming from. So until I see the people who count, who are signing the checks and have total authorization on, on the final happenings then you know we'll see that we'll see that oh I guess you want to try to right, Lady, one second thing. I'm recording Lee well, I'm recording we're recording yeah so Beach you're, you're saying you're not going to re you're reserving your opinion to say if Floyd's a ducker or not if even if this is in theory that if he doesn't take the money he's a ducker and you know he's stupid not to take the money yeah you're reserving your opinion on that yes yeah yeah, okay, if we're just doing theoretically. Yeah, we are. Okay. Right, if we're just doing the, if he didn't take the money, you'd have to question his motives. You'd have to question his Would that be higher than any payday he's got? Yeah, that would be. Yeah, yeah that would be. Double. Double. Yeah, one second, okay. one second, Lee. Yeah, go on, go on, Beast. Yeah, you would have to question his motives. You would have to question him. I'm not going to call him a ducker. Though. What would you call him then? Uh, use another word. You know, you've got, you're the boxing encyclopedia here on the YTBC. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll question his mo. I, I'll question his motives. I, I will be more definitive. Like I say, until I see the suit, the people in the suits come out, I'll be more definitive then. Okay. But, you, you know, I, I, I'm not going to come on camera. I'm sorry, and um, start um, throwing Floyd under the bus because too many people done it. I, I see myself as on the opposite team of that, so I'm oh. going to come out and do it. All right, thanks for that, beats. All right, Lee, Mark, you the same question if you didn't hear. So Floyd's been offered the hundred million uh, pounds to fight uh, Manny Pacquiao. Should he take it? And if he doesn't take it, what would you call him? Go ahead. Right. Well, one, of course he should take that. He'd have to 
you'd have to snatch at them any money any person for any fight that didn't you know that's not even fighting like that's not even a it's not even the same dangerous fight it was like eight years ago or seven years ago it's mm-hmm. like it's not even that dangerous now i don't think and it won't end in a knockout either way i don't believe you know so it's not a fight you should be scared of so a hundred million you you'd snatch that you'd have to snatch that right oh well yeah you call it like a bar i'm not I, i'm gonna stand with beats on this one you know the until there's actual evidence man <laughs> actual you know until somebody says look this has been offered you know until bob aaron himself comes out and says or somebody says look because we all know bob aaron don't you know bob aaron's been to the negotiation table to some extent or tried to some extent and maybe the opposite but he, they never talk about it you know it's, or whatever or if he's been offered he's never said nothing you know what i mean so if he was to come out himself someone like that was actually in the circle that actually meant something was to pull themselves and say look yo you're going in and out hey you're going in and out lee you have to be clear stop moving around yeah so the people are listening go ahead yeah okay yeah yeah but going back to your point errol you know especially if it comes to light that you know that we we could believe it's factual if he avoided that 100 million pounds or just didn't take that to me personally, that would validate the Pacquiao side of this argument that's been going on for seven years. And Floyd has ducked it the whole way, if that is the way, you know. If he doesn't, if he doesn't take it, yeah. like, if, he's if, if he returns, no one turns down a hundred million dollars. No one. Yeah. That's just insane, especially for that fight. That's mental. Especially this fight in 2015. Anybody turning down hundred million for that stuff is mad. Cause it's not even that dangerous anymore. You know, if you were scared about your health or scared about getting knocked out and you, you wanted more longevity to your career, you could see why 2007 Floyd turned down that fight because he wanted to earn 40, 50 million dollars a fight for these seven years. So he's invested. But if he'd have got knocked out or serious, put himself in serious harm back then, he might not have even had a career after that. He might not have earned half the money. In hindsight, maybe for another thing, I think. He's earned fucking, he's been the richest athlete on earth. All because maybe he didn't get damaged by fighting somebody that maybe have destroyed his career. No, I'm just saying that might be the case, but I'm not. Alright, Lee, alright, alright, alright. Alright, right, 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 Lee, fucking hell, man. In and out, but fucking hell. There's long, long with the argument. So basically, he's a ducker or bloody you know no one's me personally like i think fucking no there's no excuse for me not taking that and we're talking in theory right now because like beat said and lee said there's no concrete evidence from from the official sources out there this isn't put out there by ski biff and bayless and um steve smith and skip bayless out there right but for me fuck that if you don't take that i don't know what the fuck you say that's less than lennox lewis and mike tyson that's less than mike tyson and lennox lewis they got it together it's, it's, it obviously doesn't need the money but for legacy fight and everything, you need to take that fight. Don't care. I'm talking in theory. You need to take that fight. There is no excuse why you don't take that fight. None. You haven't. First and foremost, you haven't got that many people to fight anyway. You know, this is the career-defining fight. You can win it. And pro, look at this, right? If he takes the fight next year, if he takes the fight next year, in theory, the rematch is going to be big, depending on what happens in the rematch. So you still end. If that's for the first fight. If the, if the first fight is close, then you, how much are you going to earn for the second fight? So, for me, it's all above yes. If he doesn't, fucking hell, man. It's, 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 it's a shitstorm coming your way, Floyd Mayweather. And there ain't nothing I want to be think I want to be a part of. I'll jump off the ship and just, just hide in a rock or something like that because it's going to be nasty. No, I'm defending him. I'm defending him. I, I'm, hiding in a, I'm hiding in some cable. Yeah, yeah, I'm with Beats. I'm with Beats. I'm with Beats. I'm with Beats. You're going to defend him for, you're gonna defend him for not taking that fucking amount of money? If, in theory, yeah, like in theory, though, said, we're talking. Like he, until, until I see some 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 uh, black jackets and some hard bottoms come out with some real paperwork showing me that. Yeah, I know that. I know that. I know that. I know that. But I'm talking about if he, it's a fact. In theory, if it's a fact that that is that, and he doesn't well, take Errol, it. Errol, Errol. Well, all right, I'll answer that question. Well, theory, theory is never fact. And right now, what we're doing is presuming and, I, and making assumptions. And my mother always taught me when when you assume, you make a ass out of yeah, you. Yeah, we, 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 so we, well, understand. this is for the recording for people listening, so we're not going to have to worry about, like, what that is. Yeah, you just get to, you've already said your opinion on it. 
So, like I said to you, this is the smart. Be said, be said, be said he would defend him, and I would defend him too. I'm not gonna make assumptions on a brother. I'm not gonna. Yeah, make well, okay, all right, Umar. Well, you've had just, you've had just say. Let me say my saying it right, and then we can just wrap it up. Yeah. So what I'm saying to you, in my opinion. Yeah, if we don't take it, our blood, the shit's don't come this way. It's going to be nasty. And like, I'm not going to defend him. I'm, I'm just going to keep quiet. If he gets bombed, he gets bombed. Because I really want to see the fight. And hope he does see the fight. So we don't have to think about if he's going to duck or whatever. So that's what I have to say. Any in the panel want to say anything else? Okay, let's say it. From me, EJ Boxing Live, Chris Caban, Ben Umar, UK Boxing Blogger, and Boxing Beast and Rams. We catch you on another one. Peace.